Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 17 of the Casually Avid Gamer Plays Prison Architect. I'm glad you guys are here. Now, as you can see, our delivery and our storage areas and trucks for days are just backed up out the wazoo because I ordered every single part that's supposed to go into this uh, these two new dorms, except for the jail doors. Uh, because we, as, as we all know, we put those in last. That way, we don't have to constantly be opening them, opening them, and closing them. Okay, somebody should be coming over to dismantle that soon. Okay, so what do we got done? I got a yard built here, and it's actually surrounded by a brick wall rather than this yard, which has just got a fence. Because that's not the new. That's not so hot. Uh, as a matter of fact, someday I should probably replace this with the wall. But anyway, so our canteen is up and it's ready, and that's great. But there are a few other things we want to get set up in time because this is probably this is going to be I think like 118 prisoner capacity here, uh, and we're not quite ready for it yet. So next thing we want to do is we need to get a laundry up and going. So let's go. Uh, let's just. Uh, not have this locked open for now uh, just until we get the the room set up so uh, room wait you're not locked that's enough of that okay now we lock it shut because you guys can get in through that way all right so rooms let's get the laundry working There. And we want to keep these two, we want to keep this kind of area free. So we need laundry machine, laundry basket, and ironing board. All right, so let's go to objects, laundry machine. Okay, evidently they don't. Did I do it sideways the last time? No, I did them. Okay, yeah, evidently the orientation doesn't matter, so go there. And we'll do five. Next up, get some ironing boards working. Oh, perfect. Baskets. All right, that should be plenty. Now let's go ahead and open this door. Actually, no, uh, leave that there. Now deployment. Yeah, we got a guy deployed there. That's perfect. All right, so open that door, and we'll come back and check on him later. What else do we need to get moving on? See, we got shower up and going. Oh, no, no, there's no shower head because there's no. Actually, let's. I don't want people coming in there trying to take a shower. So we're just going to remove the shower designation for now. Okay, that's still under construction. Okay, we've got the laundry working. Let's see, this is going to be the prisoner chapel, so we'll go ahead and make this the uh, cleaning cupboard. It's going to be a big one. And stat, oh wait, deployment. We want a guard in there at all times, just to prevent hanky and the panky. Okay, this is going to end up being a chapel. I think this is going to be another security room. That should be good. Uh, we don't need to get those up and running right away. And here is going to be our yard. So, as a matter of fact, why don't we go ahead and set that up as a yard. Excellent. Most excellent. 
What do we need in yards? We need... Wait, benches. Good call. Can we put... Yeah, we'll drop the... Those may be spaced out too much, but that's all right. Phone booth. Phone boots. I'm probably way overdoing it on these things. But this yard over here feels incredibly small. So maybe we're doing maybe we're doing right. There's that and then we just need some benches. Some some, some good old benches. Place to rest your bones. Somebody getting tased? Sounds like somebody's getting tased. But, ah, nobody's screaming. I don't see anybody in the hospital. Oh, wait a second. Hold the phone. Who's this cat? Gareth Gall. 17 years for multiple crime, crimes, including robbery and perjury. Huh. Reputation, don't know yet. 15 days in your prison. No reform program, destruction, escape attempt, attack staff, found tools, found drugs. Huh. Estimated reoffending chance, 51%. Wow. Okay, buddy. Um, first, you know what? Sorry, you got to go back to normal sec because reasons. Now, let's go ahead and pop in, look at, let's see. Hygiene is always is a little tricky because the medium security guys can only shower in certain spots of the day. So if they get cranky and they miss one, well, bleh. Okay, let's see. What was I going to check on? Prisoners. We've got several high... Normal sec... Why aren't you eating? Is he gonna starve to death? That's a that's a possibility. That is a distinct possibility. Dude! What did my snitch do? Attacks staff. Dude, you're you're pushing your luck. Aston. Besides, I need you in a uh, normal sex so you can get me the scoop. Speaking of, as a matter of fact, let's try intelligence. Let's go down to there. Informants. Let us bring in Richard Underwood for a little bit. So he's going there. Our yard's getting up and going. Ah, see, there we go. So, starting to get a little more info. Although he hasn't actually made it to security yet. Ah, so we're learning about these fellows. Fair enough. Oh, and see, he's telling us that somebody's got some contraband. What else is going on in the world of... Alright, so we're going to go ahead and deactivate him. And we're going to activate old Aston. Is he, is, he, is he running? He looks like he's running. 
<laughs> There's nothing in this yard, but people are using it. That's fine. So Aston, and there we're getting the getting the scoop. What do we see here? Uh, some stuff there. I don't see any. Last time I did this, I got a notification of some tunnels. So we'll go ahead and turn him off so as he doesn't get murdered. That would be fine. Okay, that's locked open. All oh, this seems to be working well. All right, let's... Yard's almost there. Oh, we gotta hook up uh, utilities. So first off, electrical cable. Right there and there. And then a water pipe. We have to use large pipes there. Looks like we did. All right, those should get in and get going. Next up, let's get our doors in. So, large jail door. We'll go there and there. There's regular jail door there. takes a long time place all these doors individually huh of course people wouldn't last long if I just did one giant room with all the prisoners it would be fun to watch but uh, they'd slaughter themselves pretty darn quick which that's not our goal with this prison the next prison that might be fun but this prison is just to make money get valuable open lock open all right so those doors should be going in deployment see now all this is weird again all right Let's put guards in there for now there it's gonna go away again real quick and that's kind of annoying cleaning cupboard logistics max jobs 18. Let's hire another five. And that, although we could have hired more guys there as well. Let's fi yeah, let's finish it out there. So that gives us up to 15. Is that everybody already? Seriously? Really? Good job, team. Uh, let's see. We don't need to lock you open right now. And we don't need to lock you open right now. Rooms. Showers. Go there and there. what that means I don't know uh, next up we want dormitories yes So now that's set. Deployment. Let's see. All this stuff to be... Why? I, I don't get this thing. 
but for right now wait no uh, do we go ahead and bring in medium sec yeah I guess we do because that's the one where, that's where we want them <laughs> this could be this could be a strong miscalculation on my part um, and also I do not want to intake 107 prisoners tomorrow so let's go ahead and go to our intake and let's go number per day we need seven normal security prisoners so we want 30 Actually, you know what? We're going to go have these, and then our other minimum security guys can go hang out in the holding cell because we will parole them out really quickly. All right, so that's great. Uh, deployment, again, that's going to be medium security, so we want four guards. Let's see. We also want a guard here guard there and a guard there we're gonna have to buy a lot of or buy buy guards that's weird okay yard do I not have any guards in the yard I guess I don't all right well we'll have four guys wandering there because they have to do these hallways as well and we'll just have another four out here Alright, that's great. And so next up, let's go rooms, kitchen. Uh, deployment. Garden there. Rooms. Canteen. Right there. Yeah, that's that's fine. There will be there will be prisoners soon. Uh, logistics, uh, food distribution. No, you were still going there. You were still going there. And that should work just dandy, just dandily. So we got stuff in the yard for them to do. Laundry, clean cupboard. I am certain I just assigned guards here. There you go. People are coming over. They'll get here eventually. Oh, why is it not? Okay, I think I think we are set for this. Although logistics. Hire as many prisoners as we can because staff and next cooks. Six. Yeah, we <laughs> just hire a bunch if it seems like we've got too many. I, I really don't want to run into food problems because that's the uh, great way to get a riot. And man, these lights suck. I was like, surely that'll be enough to light it now. It won't be enough to light it up. Uh, that was that was a lie. Just sticks. I got, don't have people working here just yet. That should be good. And one last thing. It paying prisoners to clean isn't that big of an expense, so I might as well do it. Uh, and I expanded our kennel possibilities. Let's go ahead, as the last thing we do in this episode, uh, we're going to be intaking a bunch of these cats, uh, and that's fine. What do we have room for? Minimum capacity. Bringing in 15, we've got 8. Alright, I'm going to have to adjust that before tomorrow. But let's go ahead and look at 
Where are dog patrols? Dogs are patrolling there. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and take a doggy patrol there. And then we're gonna have doggy patrol there. Then the next thing we gotta do is get some some more kennels. So object uh Dog crate. Start with six more. Should be fine. All right. So, neat, guys. We've jumped up our capacity from 222 like, up to 342. Uh, and we got <laughs> and we got people coming in. This should be great. Uh, I am well short on guards, so I am going to go ahead and pick up a bunch more of these cats as well. So where are we at? 116. Bringing in some more. So there we go. Great. Still bringing in about ten thousand dollars a day. That's excellent. And this, I think we can lock these open. Not shut. No, stop, stop. Just let it to lock open. There you go. All right, uh-oh. So it's, what? All right, that's it. Somebody's digging a tunnel right there. Really? All right, then. First thing next episode, guys, we're doing a shakedown. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in to this episode of The Casually Avid Gamer Plays Prison Architect. I'm glad you guys tuned in. Uh, please click that like button. Click that subscribe button. I want you guys to have a great week. And we'll talk to you next time. Thank you.